I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll take up exponential equations. Here is a challenge question based on how do we solve exponential equation. The question before us is 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x. We need to solve this equation. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Now, let us look into the solution of the equation. We are given 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x. Now let's bring all the terms with base 2 on the left side. So we get 2 to the power of x plus 1 minus becomes plus 2 to the power of x and the term with base 3 to the right. So we have 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x minus 2. Now, in this particular case, when I write 2 to the power of x plus 1, it really means that we have 2 times 2 to the power of x, right? This is 2 times 2 to the power of x, and this is 2 to the power of x, right? And here, when I say 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x minus 2, it means 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of minus 2 means... 1 over 3 square, right? So that's what it means. Right, so on the left side, we get 2 plus 1, 3 times 2 to the power of x, right? And on the right-hand side, we can take 9 as the common denominator. And here we get 9 times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x, correct? So that becomes... 8 times 3 to the power of x over 9. Makes sense. So that is how it is. Now, if I take 3 to the right hand side, then what do we get? Well, we could write this equation as, we could also write this as 2 to the power of x over 8, right? cross multiply and 3 to this side we get 3 to the power of x over 9 times 3 as 27. As you can very clearly see in these equations 8 is 2 to the power of 3 right and 27 is 3 to the power of 3. So in a way we could also write this as 2 to the power of x, let me first write 2 to the power of 3 here, and 3 to the power of x, and 3 to the power of 3 there, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that we have 2 to the power of x minus 3 equals to 3 to the power of x minus 3. Makes sense, right? Now, when can these equations be equal? Since their base is different, we have one possibility, since we know that a to the power of 0 is basically equal to 1. So now, I could equate both of them to 0, and fortunately for us, both of them work for x equals to 3. You get the idea. So, so to get this power, so we say x minus 3 is equal to 0 will give us x equals to 3. Now, x equals to 3 works for both left side and right side. Both get equal to 0. You get the idea. So therefore, we have a solution here, and the solution is that x is equal to 3. Do you see how we got this answer? Perfect. So you could solve like this, and there are many other different ways to do it. However, I find this very useful. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time, and all the best.